But Israel, they broke the very first one, didn't it? Yes, sir. So now this is what they did. Read that next verse. Yet the Lord testified against Israel uh -huh. and against Judah by all the prophets and by all the seers, saying, Go ahead. Turn ye from your evil ways and keep my commandments and my statutes, according to all the law which I commanded your fathers and which I sent to you by my servants, the prophets. Go ahead, read. Notwithstanding, they would not hear, but hardened their neck. Well, what else is new? <laughs> You know, so now, you know, he, he said, now, you know, I sent the prophets to you, and I got the prophets, and they're coming, they coming to you daily, telling you to keep my commandment, but Israel would not hearken, but they stiffened their neck. Go ahead, read on. Like to the neck of their fathers that did not believe in the Lord their God. Now, let's uh, skip down to uh, 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 verse 18 and continue to read. Therefore the Lord was very angry with Israel and removed them out of his sight. Wait a minute. Therefore the Lord was angry with them and removed them out. Ain't that what he said he was going to do by yes, the mouth sir. of Moses? He said, now, if you don't obey my commandments, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you removed in all the kingdoms of the earth. Didn't he say that? That's right. Well, the only thing he's doing is just keeping his word then, isn't he? That's right. So therefore the Lord, he was very angry with Israel and remove them out of his sight. Go ahead and read on. There was none left but the tribe of Judah only. So now he's just dealing with the ten tribes here. You understand what I'm saying? But Judah didn't do no better. That's the right. Lord had appointed a time that he was going to deal with them. Go ahead and read a little bit more. Though. Also Judah kept not the commandments of the Lord their God. See what it said? Also Judah, they did not obey the commandments of the Lord their God. Either. What verse out? In the middle of verse 19. Go ahead and read. But walked in the statutes of Israel which they made. Uh -huh. And the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel. Go ahead. And afflicted them and delivered them into the hand of spoilers uh -huh. until he had cast them out of his sight. Go ahead and read. For he rent Israel from the house of David, and they made Jeroboam the son of Nebat king. And Jeroboam drave Israel from following the Lord and made them sin a great sin. Uh -huh. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam which he did. They departed not from them Go ahead, read. until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight. Uh -huh. As he had said by all his servants, the prophets, so was Israel carried away out of their own land to Assyria until this day. So now, you know, so now uh, he didn't have the ten tribes taken out. He had the Assyrians to come down there and take them out. And most history give this as around 722, 721 B.C. So now. Ten tribes, they gone. They ain't never went back to the land to this very day. So that left Judah only. Now, well, well he told you what Judah did. They didn't keep the commandments either, did they? Right. Let's go to, uh, let's go now to uh, 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 Second Chronicles chapter 36, and we're going to pick it up at verse 11. Second Chronicles 36, and we'll begin reading at verse 11. 36 and 11. This is the last <coughs> king that Israel ever had. I'm talking about uh, uh, Judah here. Now, this is the very last king they had. So, ten tribes, they gone. Now, we are dealing with Judah here now. This is the very last king that Judah had. Start reading in 2 Chronicles chapter 36, and we'll begin reading at verse 11. 36 and 11. Okay, go ahead and read. Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign and reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord his God. As did most of the kings of Israel. They did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord God. Go ahead, read. This and what the Lord, Lord said what he was going to do yes, if sir. they messed up. He said that, didn't he? That's right. And, 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 uh, and, and the ten tribes, they're living proof that the Lord means what he says, right? Go ahead, read on. And humbled not himself before Jeremiah the prophet, speaking from the mouth of the Lord. Now, he was uh, around during the ministry of Jeremiah the prophet. Go ahead, read on. And he also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by God. But he stiffened his neck and hardened his heart from turning unto the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead, read. Moreover, all the chief priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abomination of the heathen, uh -huh. and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. Now, what did it say that moreover, all of the priests yes, and all of the people right. transgressed very much against the Lord God? Not just the people, but he said the priests priest. as well. Yes, These are the people that was responsible for teaching the people the law. 
So now even they transgress very much against the Lord God. Go ahead, read up. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending, uh -huh. because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Mm -hmm. But they mocked the messengers of God Go ahead. and despised his words and misused his prophets uh -huh. until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Till there was no In other words, the Lord finally had, had enough. You know, because Lord, he always suffers long. Yes, sir. He is truly a long-suffering God. You know that. I know it if you don't. That's right. So now he didn't suffer long. And finally there was no remedy. The Lord said, this is it. This is enough. Go ahead, read on. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees. Therefore the Lord brought up on them the king of the Chaldees. These are the Babylonians here. Go ahead, read on. The who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary. Go ahead, read. And had no compassion upon young man or maiden, old man or him that stooped for age. Uh -huh. He gave them all into his hand. Go ahead, read. And all the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his princes, all these he brought to Babylon. Uh -huh. And they burnt the house of God. Well, and, and they destroyed the house. You know what house of God this was? This was the one that the Lord had Solomon to build. Yes, sir. You don't understand what I'm saying? This was the one that had the gold and the silver everywhere. That's right. The one that David wanted to be able to, the Lord said, you got too much blood on your head. David said, well, since I can't build it, I'm going to get all the stuff that's going that's in. Right. And he started hustling, trying to get everything to go in that temple. Then his son Solomon built it, and now the Lord have sent Nebuchadnezzar down there to tie it up. That's right. But that's what he said he was going to do, didn't it? Then right. he said by the mouth of Moses, if you don't obey my commandments, I'm going to have them to come down there. They're going to destroy the cities, and they're going to destroy that's the right. sanctuary. That's right. Now, if the Lord going to have a sanctuary that he had built, that he had gold and silver everywhere in, what, doesn't let you know God mean what he said right, then, doesn't that's it? right, brother. Go ahead and read. And they burnt the house of God uh -huh. and break down the wall of Jerusalem and burnt all the palaces thereof with fire and destroyed all the goodly vessels thereof. Go ahead and read. And them that had escaped from the sword carried he away to Babylon where they were servants to him and his sons and to the reign of the kingdom of Persia. Now the one that did not get killed, he had them to be carried away captive unto Babylon. Now you got Judah. Where are they? They gone in the That's captivity. Right. Now, this had to be somewhere around 5, yeah, around 586. We'll put 586. Some said 586. Some said 587. We'll put 586 uh, B.C. Go ahead and read. And then, oh, okay, 21. Uh -huh. To fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Je Jeremiah. Now, he said this was done to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah. In other words, the Lord had already had Jeremiah to tell the people what it is that he was yes, going sir. to do. Go ahead and read on. Until the land had enjoyed her Sabbath. Uh -huh. For as long as she lay desolate, she kept Sabbath go to ahead. fulfill three score and ten years. Three score and ten years, that's 70 years. Yes, in other words, so now they go on down into Babylon for 70 years. But then, now let's go and read what uh, he had Jeremiah to write. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 29, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. We're working our way all the way down, people, to this generation. We done took it back, and we're going to bring it all the way down. Jeremiah chapter 29, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 29 and 1. Okay, go ahead and read. These are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders, which were carried away captives, mm -hmm. and to the priests, and to the prophets, and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon. So now, you know, he's, Jeremiah is sending this letter to them, and he said, you know, to all of the people that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive unto Babylon. Go ahead and read them. After that, Jeconiah the king and the queen and the eunuchs, the princes of Judah and Jerusalem and the carpenters and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem. Go ahead and read. By the hand of Elisha, Elisha the son of Shaphan and, and Jem, 
And Jemariah, the son of Hilkiah, whom Zedekiah, king of Judah, sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, saying, Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. the God of Israel, Go ahead. unto all that are carried away captives, whom I have caused to be carried away from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Now he said, unto all that's carried away captive, that I have caused to be carried away captive from Jerusalem unto Babylon. Go ahead, read on. Build ye houses uh -huh. and dwell in them. They said, build ye some houses and dwell in them, because you're going to be there for a little spell. Mm -hmm. About 70 years, in That's fact. Right. Go ahead, read on. And plant gardens uh -huh. and eat the fruit of them. Go ahead. Take ye wives uh -huh. and beget sons and daughters. Go ahead. And take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands, uh -huh. that they may bear sons and daughters, Go ahead. that they may be increased there and not diminished. Go ahead, read. And seek the peace of the city where I have caused you to be carried away captive. Now, you know, Lord, no Israel was bad about that rebellion stuff. Yes, sir. So now he said, now when you get down there, you know, build some houses. You know, get you some wives, get you some children, and seek the peace of the city that I have caused you to be carried away captive to. You know, you always, because the condition is on you because of what you did and because what I did to you for doing what you did. Now, what you need to do is seek the peace of the city that it might be well with you. Because you get some that don't choose to seek the peace of the city, and I guarantee you every time it is not well right. with them. Go ahead, read on. And pray unto the Lord for it. Uh -huh. For in the peace thereof shall ye have peace. Go ahead. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. the God of Israel, let not your prophets and your diviners that be in the midst of you deceive you, neither hearken to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed. Uh -huh. For they prophesy falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, saith the Lord. Go ahead, read. For thus saith the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, uh -huh. I will visit you Go and ahead. perform my good word toward you uh -huh. and causing you to return to this place. See what the Lord said now after 70 years? This Judah he's dealing with now. Now he said after you spend 70 years in Babylon, then I'm going to have you to return to this place. In other words, you're going back to the land. So that is what Israel did. They went back to the land and they rebuilt. Let's go Daniel chapter 9. We're going to pick it up at uh, verse 1. Daniel chapter 9, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 9 and 1. 9 and 1. Because Daniel was among those that was taken captive down into Babylon. And so now what he's doing here, so apparently the 70 years is about up, and Daniel is praying to the Lord trying to understand what's going to happen to Israel and what's going to happen to Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is laying in desolation and Israel is in bondage to the Babylonians. Start reading at Daniel chapter 9 and pick it up at verse uh, uh, 1. 9 and 1. Go ahead and read. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, uh -huh. of the seed of the Medes, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years where the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet uh -huh. that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. See what, see what uh, Daniel said? He said, I understood by books. Yes, sir. In other words, by reading the book of Jeremiah. That's right. Didn't we read the book of Jeremiah That's right. where it said they was going to spend 70 years in the bondage? That's right. So then he read that. And he said, now I understood by that. So now the 70 years is about up, and he's wondering, What's going to happen to Israel? Go ahead and read on. And I set my face unto the Lord God Go ahead. to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. In other words, he really wanted to know this yes, thing. Sir. You know, he's seeking by sackcloth and even by fasting and even by ashes because he wants to understand what's going to happen to this people now. Go ahead and read on. And I prayed unto the Lord my God uh -huh. and made my confession and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandments. See what I said, keeping the covenant of mercy, that them that love him and them that obey his commandments. That's who God shows mercy That's on, right. those that love him and those that keep his commandments. Now he said, I pray to the Lord my God. Go ahead and read on. Verse 5. Go ahead. We have sinned and have committed iniquity uh -huh. and have done wickedly Go ahead. and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgment. Go ahead. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, uh -huh. which...